Demo 4.9 Receive Goods Against a Purchase Order In this demo, we will record the receipt of materials from a vendor. Use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the transaction to record a goods receipt or enter the transaction code MIGO in the command field. In this demo, we will use the SAP Easy Access menu. First, expand the Logistics menu. In the Logistics menu, expand the Materials Management menu. In the Materials Management menu, expand the Inventory Management menu. In the Inventory Management menu, expand the Goods Movement menu. In the Goods Movement menu, expand the Goods Receipt menu. In the Goods Receipt menu, expand the For Purchase Order menu. In the For Purchase Order menu, select the MIGO PO Number Known transaction. The system displays the goods receipt screen. The first step is to enter the purchase order, PO, number, for which the goods are being received. Enter the PO number, if known. Otherwise, you have to search for it. To search for the purchase order, click the search icon next to the field. In this demo, we will search for the purchase order number. The system displays a search form. Enter the desired search criteria and click Enter. In this demo, we will search for purchase orders for the vendor Olympic Protective Gear. Enter the vendor number if known. To search for a vendor, click the search icon next to the vendor field. In this demo, we will search for the vendor number for Olympic Protective Gear. The system displays the search form. To retrieve a list of vendors, provide the desired criteria and click Enter. In our demo, we will not provide any criteria. The system displays a list of vendors. Select the desired vendor. In our demo, we will select Olympic Protective Gear. The system copies the vendor number into the vendor field of the form to search for the purchase order. Provide any additional criteria and click Enter to search for purchase orders. In this demo, we will not include any additional criteria. This will result in a list of all purchase orders for Olympic Protective Gear. The system displays a list of purchase orders. Select the desired purchase order and click Enter. In this demo, we will select purchase order number 45000022. The system copies the purchase order number into the purchase order field in the goods receipt screen. Click Enter to retrieve the data from the purchase order that are needed to record the goods receipt. In our demo, the system copies a single line item, 500 t-shirts, into the goods receipt screen, along with the appropriate movement type and stock type. Refer to the text for an explanation of these data. Enter the storage location where the materials received are placed. Enter the storage location code, if known. To search for storage locations, click the search icon next to the S lock field. In our demo, we will search for a storage location. The system displays a list of available storage locations. Double click the desired storage location to select it. In this demo, we will select Trading Goods, TG00. The system copies the storage location code TG00 into the storage location SLOC field. Verify that the quantity received matches the purchase order quantity 500. If it does not, then change the quantity of goods received to match what was actually received. Finally, click the OK checkbox to indicate that the materials received have been verified. In this demo, we will receive 500 t-shirts. 
Next, we will review some of the detailed data about this material. Click on the Detail Data button to open the Detail Data screen. The system displays the detailed data area. The data in this area are grouped into tabs. The system selects the material tab by default. This tab shows basic data about the material, such as material number and description. Click the Purchase Order Data tab to display the data stored in that tab. The system displays the data in the Purchase Order Data tab. These data include the purchase order number associated with the materials received. Next, click on the Partner tab. The system displays the Partner tab, which identifies the partner or vendor from whom the materials were received. Click Enter to validate the data in the Goods Receipt screen. If there are any warnings or errors, the system will provide appropriate alerts. After the data have been validated, click the Save icon to record the goods receipt in the system. The system will save the data and display a material document number. In this demo, the system has created material document number 5000000040, which is displayed in the lower left corner of the screen. We will now review the status of the original purchase requisition. Use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the transaction to display a purchase requisition. The menu path is Logistics to Materials Management to Purchasing to Purchase Requisition to Display or enter the transaction code ME53N in the command field. The system will display the purchase requisition, initial screen. Enter or search for the desired purchase requisition number to display it. The system displays the purchase requisition. Close the header area and open the Item Overview and Item Detail area. In the Item Overview area, the item ordered 500 t-shirts is displayed. Click the Status tab in the Item Detail area. Recall that when the requisition was created, the processing status, PROC status, was not edited. When the purchase order was created, the processing status changed to PO created and the purchase order number was displayed. Now after the goods are received, the status is updated to indicate a goods receipt. In our demo, a receipt of 500 t-shirts is noted. Double-click the purchase order number to display it. The system displays the purchase order. Close the header area and open the item overview and item detail areas. The overview area shows the line item in the purchase order. For that line item, the detail areas show data grouped in different tabs. Click on the Purchase Order History tab. Recall from earlier in the demo when we noted that the PO History tab was not created when the PO was created. The History tab is created once the goods receipt is recorded. The History shows all the goods receipts for the selected line item. In our demo, the selected line item is T-shirts and the detail shows one goods receipt for 500 T-shirts. The item, Detail, are displays the status of one selected line item. To view the status of the entire order, open the header area and click the Status tab. The system displays the status for the entire purchase order. It indicates how many units were ordered, delivered, still to be delivered, and invoiced. This is the total for all line items in the purchase order. In our demo, there is only one line item. In addition, the order status indicates that 500 were ordered and 500 were delivered. Demo 4.9 Receive Goods Against a Purchase Order